Hey folks, Ray Bissett here, coming live to you from the Firm U in Spring, Texas. We're on the corner of Spring Cypress and Champion Forest. I'm here to ask you guys, how's your uh, New Year's resolution coming? You know, most of us, we um, try to uh, lose 5, 10, 15, 20 pounds in the new year. Well, did you do what you did last year? Because if you did, you're probably scratching your head, why didn't I just stay with it? Well, here at the Firm U, we teach you a lifestyle that lasts not just for a month, not just for a couple weeks. I mean, it's been two, year, two weeks now into your uh, New Year's resolution. Now, with us, you may or may not see any, any signs of what's going on. Most of the, the things that we teach are, are happening inside of you. Um, we start from the inside out, meaning that, um, well, we do a blood test. If, if that works for you. So we can actually see what, what, what your insulin levels are, what your A1C, which is a uh, glucose, which is sugar, a sugar score of over, not just overnight, but a period of average of a period of three months. So we can take a look and see what's going on. I can tell what you're eating. I can tell what you look like just by your, your, your labs. And we do a very comprehensive lab. Okay, not everybody needs lab work. You know, you can come in and, and just be a member. You can uh, train with us, with a personal trainer. Listen to, in to one of our new, uh, nutrition classes, which is great. I learned a lot. Actually, I learned a lot right now. Um, anyway, so we've got something for everybody here. Now, most people will listen to what their doctor said. You know what they usually say when you leave and you look at your, your numbers? And by the way, the insurance companies run those labs so they're very incomplete, not very much is on those labs. You know, they actually look for disease instead of preventing them. I call it sick care. You know, I think what we do, no, I know what we do is health care. We prevent you from having to see your doctor. Anyway, let's get back to that 10, 20 pounds that you wanted to lose in January. All right, well, how are you now? Like I said before, your doctor would tell you to exercise more and watch what you eat. That's their closing statement. I think that's in their protocol. Well, what that means to most people is getting on the treadmill because all you gotta do is push a button and walk. Okay, I don't, I don't call that exercise because there's no metabolic uh, effect. There's nothing breaking down. There's no calories being burned after you're done. I mean, it's really, if you walk into your normal big box gym, when you first walk in the door, what do you see? About 35, 50 treadmills. You know why? Because your $10 a month is going to get you to walk on that treadmill just by pushing a button. You don't have to ask anybody any questions. Well, you're going to have a mighty long walk, my friend. Okay, anyway, getting back to, that's the exercise part, and then watch what you eat. What kind of advice is that? What do you mean, watch what you eat? You're probably going to count calories. Well, counting calories isn't going to help you out. I got news, I don't count any calories. I look at sugar calories. I look at carbohydrate calories. Incidentally, carbohydrate calories, carbohydrate is a long word for saying sugar. So it's the same thing when you look on the package. If something says um, there's, there's no, no carbohydrate or no sugar, look for carbohydrates, it's in there. And if it's over seven to 10 grams of sugar, that's not a food to me, that's a dessert, okay? All right, anyway, we'll get to that in a moment. So. So now that you're um, watching what you eat, again, what, counting calories, well, how does that work? I don't get it, because calories is a measurement of how fast something burns. Well, take a diet soda, okay? It has zero calories. Well, if it has zero calories, it burns real fast. Well, how do people still get fat on diet soda? Well, it's because it has aspartame, or some kind of chemically engineered uh, molecule or, or whatever's in there that slows down or stops your metabolism or somewhere down the line it's, it's like a red light works great when it's working but if it's flashing you start getting a line of, of uh, cars and things go slow basically that's what happens to your body when you take in something that's zero calories or has aspartame or some other chemical okay so aside from all that what we usually do with most people that come through the door is we get them in here to move them. Just move, don't worry about diet, that'll come later. Diet's the hardest thing. Um, getting in here three times a week or three hours, 
of the, of the week is more than enough. When you're weight training rather than doing cardio. Now, I'm not getting down on cardio. Cardio is fine. I'm, runners, don't get mad at me. Love you guys. Love it. But if, you're, if your goal is to lose fat, actual fat, this stuff right here, and keep this stuff without running it off, okay, you need to weight train. Weight train builds this. This burns in this. The more of this you have, the more of this you'll lose. Makes a whole lot of sense. Now, normally, when you diet your way, you lose this, and then you celebrate. And you usually celebrate that you lost eight to 10 pounds of water. Then you go out and have a cupcake, cake, whatever you have, and then you gain more than you, than you ended up losing. You also lose this. Okay, now, you're, the thing that the energy source that burns the fat is now smaller. So now you're starting below ground zero. So now when you look at people and you say, how did they get that morbidly obese? That's the pattern they take, okay? So anyway, we get right short, through the shortcut and we teach you the science about how your body works so you can intelligently make good food choices. Um, anyway, let's talk about the most important thing we test on our blood panels, and that's insulin. The A1C and the glucose, that's important too, okay? But we, sometimes we have seen normal uh, numbers and the ranges on glucose and A1C. Remember, A1C is glucose or sugar. Uh, an average of about three months, what that number is, okay? So it's a more accurate, gives us more accurate uh, number. Now, where there's sugar, there's gonna be insulin. It's almost like where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, and where there's insulin, uh, insulin makes things grow. Bodybuilders love it. it. Makes muscle grow, if you do it right. Okay, but it also makes fat grow too, okay? Insulin um, aids in, in bringing a, um, a glucose molecule or sugar through the bloodstream into a muscle receptor, okay? A muscle receptor, this is great, okay? Now, if it goes to that muscle receptor, and the muscle is full of glycogen, which is the stored, uh, which is stored uh, glucose. It's called glycogen now. It's our. Uh, it's used for quick energy, like uh, in prehistoric times. If you were being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, you burnt that glucose. Well, what it does, and when you weight train, it's the same same principle. You weight train. You break down that glucose. It dissipates in the interstitial tissue and jumps on, a lymph, uh, on, a, uh, on your lymphatic system, or a lymph node, lymphatic system, and out the door. Well, once it goes out the door, guess what? It needs more sugar. Muscle loves sugar. This is my sugar right here. Actually, I didn't have, I couldn't find any sugar. It's stevia, but we'll call it sugar today, okay? All right, so muscle loves sugar, all right? Remember when I said when you have sugar floating around and where there's sugar, there's insulin? Guess what, folks? When you have high levels of insulin in your blood, you can't burn body fat no matter what you do. So that $10 a, uh, a month you're paying for that gym membership to get on that treadmill, you can't get, to, you're not even burning fat yet. You are not burning fat. There's no way. You're still burning sugar, which is in your bloodstream, and it's gonna stay there until you activate the muscle to let the receptors take in sugar so it gets out of your blood. We call this insulin resistant, okay? We can get into that later. But being insulin resistant or pre-diabetic, and this is all about the numbers, or diabetic, and it's about the numbers. You gotta remember on a, um, on a blood test, when you're looking at the ranges, guess where they get the information from? The doctors are getting the information from sick people to begin with. So if you're within a range, of this and this, that means that was a sick person or a bunch of sick people and that's the average where they think you should be. So what we do is try to optimize where your, your number should be rather than just kick a field goal and be in between the goalposts, okay? All right, so how do we get our muscles to accept that sugar? Otherwise, if the, if the muscle doesn't accept that sugar, it goes to your liver, okay? Your liver can accept some sugar, it says come on in, come on in, we'll get rid of that insulin also. And your brain can also take in a little bit of sugar. 
Then it turns into a triglyceride. Okay, this is where the fat begins. Now, after it turns into a triglyceride, it is going to turn to fat. And it's going to find a nice little spot out of everybody's way to settle, out of, out of the room, out of the way of your arms and legs, and usually in the midsection somewhere. Men, above the waist, you know what I'm talking about, guys. Women, below the waist, in your, in your thighs and in your butts. Okay. Can you spot reduce fat? No. Well, hold on. So I thought you couldn't. We have a strawberry laser that actually can reduce the fat right where we put the, 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 the laser paddles. Folks, this thing works like a charm. We just had a guy come in. He had the old classic man boobs, and uh, we put it around his chest. And three spots, we measured him. He lost a total of five and a half inches around his chest. Okay? Still had to wear a bra, but... I'm just kidding about that, but um, but for for man boobs, even you know that around the gut, around we've had at least 95 percent people lose at least two inches on their first their first time. Okay, it's called the Strawberry Laser Light Bulb. It's on our website. If you go into uh, the firm U, that's T H E F I R M, the letter U dot com. Look under Strawberry Laser. It's right there, and also it gives you a little pep or a little, it gets kind of psyched up to lose, see things happen immediately. Or at the end of, of your sessions here, you know, to splurge and go ahead and get those extra, that little pooch you can't get rid of unless you're a bodybuilder. And that's pretty tough. Believe me, I've done 68 bodybuilding contests. Most of them in the top five. And on the national level, three times I've gotten the top three. That's right. So I've been around the block. Does that make me an uh, expert in nutrition? No, but you try getting up on stage with a piece of cloth no bigger than this and show your body in front of seven judges and hundreds of people staring at you, you'll, know, you'll learn nutrition real quick and how to lift weights, all right? Anyway, so let's get back to the cardio. Now, you've seen hamsters, right, in the, in the cage on the wheel running around, okay? Are they losing any fat? I don't know. Last time I looked at a, a hamster, they weren't exactly skinny, okay? They were fat. And eating like a rabbit, well, rabbits are fat too. All right, so what we do is we put a lot of emphasis on protein. We watch our sugars. I shouldn't say watch. We reduce our sugars. Now, our body has two ways of, uh, of, two ways of consuming energy or getting energy, okay? Our body prefers fat for energy, okay? But those people that are insulin resistant, you never touch your fat storages. You can't. It's impossible physiologically. You got too much sugar. So again, getting back to the weights, when you weight train, it breaks the sugar down in there, in the, the stored sugar as uh, glycogen, dissipates in your interstitial tissue, out the door in the lymphatic system. Now you've got room for more sugar to go in here, cleans up your blood, then you start losing fat. That, in a nutshell, is the science about how you lose fat, okay? Now, and again, that's why weight training is the best. Cardio is great if you wanna, you know what? If you want to do it for, um, Therapeutic reasons, you know, great, it's excellent. I do cardio only when I'm too sore to lift weights or if I'm running to the squat rack before somebody else grabs it. Um, anyway, uh, okay, so then what do you eat? My Lord, that's the hardest thing. Well, if you go shopping into any of the big uh, supermarkets, you walk in there, I'm going to tell you right now, 90% of everything that is in that store, and you can walk around the outside, inside, whatever, is going to be about 90% of it is going to be preserved uh, food. How do you find out? Take it home with you. Take half of it or a quarter of it or a piece of it. Hide it somewhere. See if it rots. You know, if, you, if, if, if it doesn't rot, you know, well, then, it, then it, can't, it, can't be, uh, it can't be digested. If it can't oxidize, how is your gut supposed to break it down? And by the way, after the age of 40, you start losing your en half of your enzymes that break down food. So, you know, what do you do? Well, you supplement um, here at the firm, you all of our supplements. We're not a multi-level marketing, networking, whatever you want to call it. We get the very best um, ingredients in our um, in our supplements. You have to have a professional healthcare's license to be able to get this stuff. You couldn't go to the vitamin shop, GNC, or anywhere else to get stuff like that. So let's just say, how, what is it? If you just came in the door, what would we do? Well, we'd have you fill out one of our forms. It's called a Part Q or a medical form. Find out a little bit about you, okay? 
Um, we get you on our biomimpedance scale. It gives us a measurement of where you are today. It'll tell us, number one, how much body fat you have. Get back to this again. How much muscle in pounds you have and fat in pounds, okay? How much water in pounds you have and your body fat percentage. Now, based upon those four, those four factors, we can come up with, you know what, if even if we didn't do a blood test and your, your body fat percentage to muscle is over 30%, that is the first stage of clinical obesity. Well, guess what, folks? We can pretty much assume you're insulin resistant, okay? So you look at yourself. You, actually, they sell Tanea's um, scales for your, for your bathroom. If that's over 30%, you know, you can pretty much be assured you're insulin resistant. That's the problem while you're going to the gym and you're getting hungrier and you're trying not to eat carbohydrates, but you're going, you're like a raven, B-I-T-C-H, because you don't have that sugar. We got the solution here, okay? Um, getting back to the two, fat, uh, two energy sources. Your body prefers to use fat as energy, okay? And I get done saying that if you're insulin resistant, you're not going to get to your fat storages, okay? So how do we make you insulin sensitive, all right? Well, again, weight training is the number one way. We have other ways through our uh, pharmaceutical grade uh, supplements. Now, the first thing that, like I said, when you come through the door, after you fill out the, the sheet, after we do your body fat uh, percentage, based upon that, we set you up with a three-day program, say Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 6 p.m. at night, okay? You work out for one hour. Let's just say Monday, we'll do chest and back, okay? So Monday, after you, after you leave here, say you burn three or 500 calories. As soon as you leave the firm, your calorie burning machine starts. This breaks down, okay? To do that, it burns calories. So if you're only working out three hours a week, you're actually really working out 168 hours or a week. That's 168 hours is how many hours there are in a week. So you're in a catabolic or a met um, metabolic state that whole time working out three times, okay? Now, if you did the math, it's 3,500 calories burns a pound of fat. So if you did cardio and you did burn, if you want to play the game with counting things, okay, if you did uh, burn 500 calories in an hour, which is pretty hard, and you did that seven days a week, that's 3,500 calories. That's one real pound. That's not water. That would be one pound of fat, okay? Who in the right mind is going to work out seven days a week for one hour to burn 500 calories? Well, not me. I don't have to work out that much to get ready for a, for a national bodybuilding contest. Heck, that's too, way too much work. Okay, so we specifically will do chest and back. Okay, so when you hit your chest and back, um, again, you you go into that catabolic stage or that uh, metabolic stage, and we don't try to you know, make you not be able to function the next day. That's crazy. Anybody can do that. We stimulate you, not annihilate you, okay? Just stimulate the muscle. Say, hey, there's a new kid in town. Don't worry about your diet yet. Not concerned about that. Making sure you're getting here. It all starts up here because if, if I can work with your mind, your body will follow, okay? So on Tuesday, that's a good day to do cardio. If you want to do cardio, it's fine. If you have a, a bike at home, a treadmill, whatever it is, Go ahead, go for a long walk, whatever. It doesn't really count as a fat burner, but it's something to keep you focused. Okay, then Wednesday rolls around. And again, this is just, um, I'm just uh, generalizing this. It could be Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, okay? So Thursday comes around. You're still a little bit tender from working out on chest and back on Monday. So on Wednesday, we hit legs. Love legs. Why legs? How do I get rid of this, this gut here? I get that all the time. How do I get rid of my gut? really simple. Do legs. Legs. Every guy hates legs. And I always tell them, well, if you hate legs and you like to have that big old arm and chest, you know, when you're staying in a bar or wherever you are, they can't see your legs. All right, well, you go on vacation, you go in the water, you better stay in that waist high water for a long time because once you get out, all the women are going to see your, peg le your, your flamingo legs. Okay. Just kidding, guys. What really happens is that when you work those bigger muscle groups, what it does is uh, you're going to burn more calories because you have a bigger muscle group. Your leg or your glutes, the glute muscle is the biggest muscle, the largest muscle in the human body. So if you activate that muscle, you're going to burn more calories. It's kind of like having the state of Texas on your backside. 
Anyway, so that's what you want to do. Like when we do squats, we want to make sure that you're coming down to a safe level or, or a 90 degree on your knees, but with not, not any weight to start off. And it depends on your, you know, athletic and, um, and your age. And there's all, all sorts of factors that we have before we get you doing the big stuff. But anyway, so once we get you started there, okay, and doing legs, you're going to burn more calories than anything else. Those are the days you can kind of introduce a little bit more carbohydrates. And I'll get back into what we use for energy other than uh, fat, okay, or how we weed you off of the sugar, okay. Anyway, let me keep going. So we got legs. So you, the next day or Thursday, your legs are sore from doing Wednesday, okay. Upper body's starting to come around, not so sore anymore, stretch a little bit, I ah, feel a little bit, but not as bad. Here's Thursday. Now we do shoulders and arms. I'm going to get that pump up for Friday night. You know what I mean, guys? Anyway, no, anyway, you do shoulders and arms. Now, shoulders and arms, we haven't touched that because we did chest and back. It was an upper body movement, but we have more muscles on the up, upper body extremities than the lower body. So we do shoulders and arms. Now you're in a metabolic state again for Saturday and Sunday. And your legs are probably just coming around by coming around from not being sore on Friday, maybe Saturday. It depends on your level and uh, how many sessions you have under your belt, okay? So now you can see that working out Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you're actually working out too also Thursday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we just did, we just completed 180, uh, 168 hours of, of um, in a fat burning mode. You know, you can't get that with cardio, okay? All right, now what to eat? My God, if I can't eat sugar or rely on fat for my energy, how am I going to get good fats? Well, the only kind of bad fat there are really is trans fat, okay? So saturated, unsaturated, all that, all those fats, polyunsaturated fats, they're good, okay? But how do I know I'm getting the right, good, uh, the right stuff? Well, that's when we supplement. Remember I told you that we have pharmaceutical grade, medical grade um, uh, supplements. And these are things that I take. And trust me, folks, if I take it, it's good. It's got to be, okay? I don't want to get you up on stage not looking good, right? <laughs> anyway, so we use a plant-based omega-3. Okay, and uh, we take anywhere from, it depends on your body weight. Okay, this is how we get away. This oxygenate, oxygenates your cells. It helps, um, it metabolizes fat. It um, helps you sleep better. It doesn't put you to sleep, but it puts you in REM sleep. Now, when you're in REM sleep, that's when you burn the most fat. I said that to a lady one time. She says, well, if sleeping is the best thing to burn or best way to burn fat, I'll just sleep all the time. Well, it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? Anyway, so we get you a plant-based omega-3. Why plant-based? Let's look at it this way. Cows eat grass and clover. It gets in their meat. And I'm being real simple about this too, okay? So make it easy in layman's terms. The, the cow will eat the grass and clover. Fish will eat seaweed, algae. Chickens will eat bugs around the, uh, the barn, okay? That's the way it used to be 100 years ago. Well, today it's not like that, all right, unless you own a farm. And I don't trust any of the labels that you, you see on anything. So I'll go ahead and buy that stuff knowing if it doesn't say, you know, even if it does say uh, grass-fed, you know, who knows? Did they just come up to a calf and give them a couple strands of grass one day and said, there you go, you're grass-fed? I don't know. So I don't trust the package, what they say in the packages. So I'd rather supplement. It's actually cheaper. So, and I know this is, it's good brand. It's a, a good brand of um, plant-based omega-3. So anyway, we eat the fish, we eat the chicken, we eat the cow, all right? But we're not getting the oxygen or the enzymes out of that, those animals like we used to 100 years ago. Okay, that's where the supplementation comes in. So we're missing those enzymes to break down the food. We're missing the oxy oxygenation of our cells from the omega-3s. Well, why do you think the cancer rate is so high? Could it be? Well, let me think. How is that put... Cancer can't grow where there's oxygen, okay? So if there's no oxygen in our cells, then our cells have to use, they have to survive, and they're going to survive. So what they do is they resort to a primitive way of uh, existing. They'll use sugar to survive rather than oxygen because of trans fats and, and other things, and we can have a whole other seminar on this, and we have. Um, so anyway, you know, you get the correlation, 
Okay, so this is not just about losing 20 pounds. It's a whole different lifestyle that you'll get here at the firm you. And that's what we're all about. Okay, so getting back to the training, three days a week, that's it. That's all you need. Also, we're in a semi-private environment here. So you don't have, you know, uh, have to drive around for a place to park or watch the guy in spandex that probably shouldn't be wearing spandex on the phone texting his wife or girlfriend or, or, or a woman. Um, so everything here is, is you know, nice and in, in and out. Everybody is focused and have a, have a goal. And we have, we don't have any dumbbells here. Everybody's intelligent. Um, so that normal person that comes in doesn't know what to eat. Well, we cut something for you here, okay? We have uh, a paleo cleanse that we uh, will sell you. It comes in a package and it has some uh, supplements that go with it. You drink this, uh, it's either chocolate or uh, vanilla and the packets you just swallow down with it. You can use unsweetened, unsweetened almond milk is great. Frozen blueberries, if you're gonna eat berries, which is sugar, or if you're gonna eat fruit, eat berries, because it's it's, it has less sugar. And I like the frozen ones because it tastes frosty, it's, it's cool. Um, anyway, so this is, uh, this is what I do as far as getting you started. Now you make two shakes a day, okay? Comes with a shaker cup, all right? Or you can use a blender, I suggest you use a blender. You can also put in some yogurt. It works as a probiotic if you get the right one. Now don't go out there and get Yolpla and all that stuff. Well, if it has already uh, uh, fruit in it, assume that it's a, it's a dessert. It's gonna have syrup in there and it's gonna be, it, it is a dessert. It's like 17 grams per serving. There's usually two to four servings in there. Do the math, you got a lot of sugar there. All right, sugar's the bad guy. We're trying to get rid of that or reduce it for right now. Once you get to an ideal or safe or healthy body fat percentage, then you can reintroduce this. And we don't start people off right off the bat saying, okay, we're taking this away from you. You can't have any wine. You can't have this. You can't have that. That's putting you at a loss. We don't do that. Like I said, we start in the gym first, get you used to getting, um, get that habit of just coming here. And you'll listen to other trainers and you'll listen to other people in here and you'll start learning that lifestyle, then all of a sudden, you know, those things that you had a, you thought that had a hold of you, all of a sudden isn't so, isn't so bad now. So we start eliminating, or I should say, replacing a few things, okay? Anyway, those shakes you take twice a day, okay? Now, what about food, real food, okay? Stuff that will actually rot when it's oxidized. We got an answer for that. They're called marigold bars right here love these things to death i can eat up to 12 of these on a contest diet and i've done it i've flown from here to pittsburgh for the npc um, masters nationals and i ate 11 of these on the plane the day before the show or two days before the show okay not counting calories anyway this is salty caramel my favorite is um dark and salty there's an espresso there's a, a cookie dough bar, ouch. You can put this in the uh, microwave for about 10 seconds. They come out and it just tastes like a cookie, all right? So I suggest that you can have as many of these as you want. It's only, it only has four grams of sugar, all right, per bar. It also has no GMOs, no MSG, no junk, no soy, because it says it right here. Okay, now if I was to go out and make my own bars, you know, because manufacturers have a sneaky way of writing things on the back and the FDA lets them get away with it, like soy for an example. That could say enzymes and that would mean soy. It's the same thing. There's 45 ways to say MSG uh, according to the FDA. Okay, I, I've done the, the, the study. The, I have the literature. It's all evidence-based medicine. That's what we run by. We're not personal trainers, we're actually health researchers. We've done all the homework, everything. All you have to do is show up. Okay, so anyway, um, if you know uh, James Magnamal, he is a uh, maintenance guy, he owns a, uh, other businesses, but he's a maintenance guy here. And I started him on the uh, Paleo Cleanse and two to three Marigold Bars a day. And those things actually will, well, I got, I got people that ask me, 
Does it fill you up? Or if it feels, if, is it a meal or a snack? That's, that's the question. If it's a meal or a snack. My answer is this, is after eating this small bar, kind of small, okay? After eating this, if it fills you up, it's a meal. If it doesn't fill you up, it's a snack. Okay, don't overthink things, guys. That's all it is, all right? Also, if I open this up, I don't even have to open up. Leave it in the package. Leave it in my gym bag for four or five days, and it rotted. My God, that means it oxidized. That means it has enzymes. That means it's real food. It actually starts off with cold press whey protein, organic protein. Notice I'm getting a little bit further and further away from having to read things, okay? Anyway, from from grass-fed cows. Now, I know the, uh, the creator of these, and I know they're grass-fed. So, anyway, so this is getting on. So, you got the paleo cleanse, and you've got the, the, um, the marigold bars. And by the way, you can buy marigold bars at the vintage um, here in Texas, um, uh, the vintage, in the vintage, uh, H-E-B. Uh, you can also order them online, uh, marigoldbars.com. Uh, we also, uh, if you are over 30% body fat or we look at your labs and we see that you're inflamed, let's just say like your CRP, that's your C-reactive protein. Now, most doctors or insurance companies uh, for your annual won't check for your inflammation levels. They'll check for things that they can write uh, prescriptions for, but they don't show you what, what's really going on until you have disease. And that's why I call that system sick care and our system health care. Okay. Anyway, so if we look at your labs and it shows a high CRP, which it should be under one, and let's just say you're three or greater, we would um, uh, we would suggest that you take curcumin. Okay. It's an Indian herb. Uh, makes yellow. It makes mustard yellow. Okay, and it's it's great for inflammation. So that's one of the one of the things that we would um, suggest. Milk fiscal, mm -hmm. if your liver come back and you have um, high enzymes, mm -hmm. a lot of times we will um, suggest uh, milk fiscal. Okay, we have that here too. Um, we also have antioxidants. Okay, um, instead of eating fruit for antioxidants, you can um, supplement it. That's what I do. Because remember, fruit has sugar in it. So any kind of sugar, whether and that's fructose, that's the worst kind, okay? And I'm not putting down uh, uh, fruits by any means. But if you're morbidly obese or, or obese category and your goal is to lose fat, then fruit may not be a good option for you, at least for right now, okay? So let's see what else we have for our treats. Metabolic Synergy, okay? Um, again, these all these... Um, these products are from different companies that we've uh, specifically handpicked. Again, we don't do multi-level marketing things or, you know, network, whatever they call it nowadays, okay? We don't try to, to get you to buy into this and then resell it to somebody else. There, we've looked into that. I just looked into research and see what their, what their ingredients are, and they're less than marginal, and they have soy. You know, we just, we don't, you know, we don't have any, anything with soy in it. Soy's not a good thing, okay? It's not food. All right. Anyway, metabolic synergy um, is a. It helps your uh, control your blood sugar. It um, uh, helps fat metabolism, and it's it's like a multivitamin. All right. We also use this in conjunction or with all this with paleo cleanse. But normally, paleo cleanse this, the EFAs, which are the uh, essential fatty acids. These guys right here. This is essential for anybody, whether you work out or not. Okay. What else do I have in my chromium? Chromium synergy. This is another uh, uh, fat, metabol fat metabolizer. It cleans up your blood glucose or your sugar in your blood, okay, and helps make you sensitive to insulin. All right, kind of works like, um, I hate to use this term, I don't know, I'll try it. It kind of works like metformin a little bit, okay. Metformin is what a doctor would prescribe for uh, somebody who has diabetes. Uh, that's 6.3 or above, okay, uh, as far as the ranges. So metabolic... Uh, uh, chromium synergy. Then we have a sneaky little tool here. It's called Tri Sugar Shield. Now, Tri Sugar Shield is a really good product. If you'd like to go out every now and then, you're that business woman or that business guy that has to go to lunch 
and you know it's going to be chock full of sugar somewhere, okay? By the way, sugar's hidden in every restaurant that you go to. You can't really trust a restaurant. Hate to say it. Love to go out, but if you're using that as your main source of dinner, you know, you're going to look like it, all right? So Tri Sugar Shield will block about a third of the sugar that goes into your body, all right? It works kind of like some of the prescription medications that you see every other commercial, all right? So anyway, Tri Sugar Shield is, is one of those things, if you know you're going to um, even have drinks, you know, anything that with sugar in it, you know, this is your guy right here. Okay, um, well, that about sums everything I wanted to, to get out today. Um, I'd like to mention that we have 50% uh, off of our memberships. Yeah, we have memberships here. Um, you can come on in and uh, for the month of January for our Glenlock folks, 50% uh, off your gym membership. Okay, and again, it's not like going to the big box gyms where you have to, you know, look for a place to park. Then when you get inside, the place is jam-packed. All it's missing is a disco ball and lights and, and music you can feel in your sneakers. Okay, it's not like that. Well, actually, we do have a good sound system, and a lot of people know what they're doing. Okay, so 50% um, off of uh, uh, memberships. Um, we have the strawberry laser I was talking about uh, earlier for those that just want to get a jump on things. Say you're doing your own thing and you're happy with it, and uh, you just want to get some instant results. This thing is instant. You see it right then and there. It takes about a half an hour. Uh, the laser you lay down on a table, and again, if you get on the, the firmu.com, that's T-H-E-F-I-R-M, the letter U.com. On our website, look up Strawberry Laser Lipo and hit the button, and it shows a, uh, uh, a video on how the process works. Okay, and it, really, it really works well. Is it permanent, you ask? I knew that was coming. It's permanent, just like weight training. It will be permanent if you stay with the program. If you lose three or four inches on that laser and go out and eat a birthday cake, guess what? It ain't, it's not going to work. So don't eat a birthday cake. <laughs> yeah, it'll work. Uh, it's approved by the FDA. They suggest that you, um, that you use it eight times. Um, and in our experience, that you know, you'll lose anywhere from you know, at least two inches. We've seen three to five inches. Now, when you come back, you might come down about a quarter, maybe even a half inch, but you're still lower. If you stay with the program, you're still lower than that first session. Then the next time you lose a little bit more and that laser goes a little bit deeper and you lose a little bit more and a little bit more till you get to your eighth session and the, you know, the video will show all. It's pretty remarkable. It's really good. Now, as a, as a bodybuilder, my God, if I can lose another inch right before the show around my waist, I'm there. Okay. Um, anyway, so I'd like to close and uh, re-announce me myself again. My name is Ray Bassett. I'm the owner of the firm U. We're on the corner of Spring Cypress and Champion Forest in Spring, Texas. Our website is thefirmu.com. That's T-H-E-F-I-R-M and the letter U.com. Okay? Check us out. You want to make an appointment with me or one of our other uh, professionals, um, hit the contact, contact us, and we'll get right back to you. Well, I think it's time to watch a football game. All right. See you later, guys.